We're getting ready to go on Cave of the Winds. Cave of the Winds? Excited? Back by this back door. And uh, that little handle go around, that's when the next movie will be over. We'll just gather, keep moving forward, go on back to this back corner. And we are all going to go into that room uh, here, okay? So go back around there, you can read those posters back in that corner. If you keep looking over here, you can see what it looks like in the winter time here. Um, they completely take this attraction apart in November. And they take the boat out of the water and they start to take apart the attraction. If they didn't, it would be destroyed by ice. Um, at the base of the American Falls, ice will pile up 10 stories high of ice which will crush all of this. So they dismantle every single stair that you see. The only thing that's there are the ramps, the two ramps. So if you keep looking at those pictures, you'll see what it's like in the winter time. It is a frozen wonderland. It's beautiful. The water keeps flowing. That, those are the original, some of the original characters that were down here by the water in the winter time. When we go behind the waterfalls in 1985, it is shockingly different. Wait till you see. Shockingly different. And now look at like the people who come here dressed in their finery, you know, standing in the top of the world, and coming here for the honeymoons. How times have changed. If you keep looking at the pictures, you can notice the difference in the edge as far as the erosion. Right now, it's very irregular, the American Bunnyville Falls, and uh, you, can, you can see the difference in, in the curvature of the horseshoe as well. It's interesting. It is 1869, and the beauty of Niagara Falls has been overwhelmed by crass commercialism and bleak industry. The lands surrounding Niagara Falls are largely controlled by private owners, and public access to the falls is limited. Set right up and come to see Niagara Falls! The pristine natural landscape of Niagara is quickly disappearing, creating an atmosphere more carnival than inspirational. Would you like to get your photographs? Soiled smokestacks and dismal factories mar the beauty of the surroundings. These industrial eyesores draw upon the water's immense energy to power their machines, then spew their waste into the gorge. Into this world of carnival hucksters and dilapidated mills walks Frederick Law Olmstead, renowned landscape architect. Olmstead is horrified by what he sees and wonders how can something so beautiful be so desecrated. gathers together the most prominent academics, businessmen, and politicians of the day to form the Free Niagara Movement. Many of the country's luminaries lend their voices to the cause. Public support grows, and the movement gains strength.
a painting at Niagara by Frederick Church, a distinguished American artist, helps inspire the movement, reminding the public of what has been lost. And Nikola Tesla, a recent immigrant to America, dreamed of generating energy by harnessing the power from the falls. Let's see them. If we could convert running water into electrical energy and transmit it long distances, we could reduce the power of the And that's the perfect time how to do it. Believing that alternating current was the way of the future, Tesla designs generators that can produce alternating current capable of being transmitted over long distances. But will it work? Armed with his invention, Tesla teams up with another proponent of AC power, industrialist George Westinghouse. A competition is held for the contract to build a new Adams power plant at Niagara Falls. Tesla and Westinghouse demonstrate the advantages of alternating current at the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. They win the commission. to generate AC current using Tesla design generators. In August 1895, the plant begins operating. A little more than a year later, electricity is sent from the Adams Power Plant to Buffalo, New York, nearly 20 miles away. When the Pan Am Expo comes to Buffalo in 1901, with visitors arriving from across the globe, Tesla and Westinghouse seize the opportunity to showcase their accomplishment to the world. To the amazement and wonder of all, the Adams Power Plant at Niagara Falls lights up on Buffalo in a spectacular and dazzling display of lights unlike anything ever seen before. Niagara Falls is soon providing electricity across the world. human brilliance can give power to people. Sometimes people can restore beauty to nature. And sometimes by working together, we can ensure that beauty and power exist together. Definitely go for them. Same every time. But I'm not going to tell you. You need assistance. Right up. Get your raincoat at the end. You don't have to put the raincoat out right away. It just makes you feel hot. Well, have a good time, guys. Be careful, too. It's pretty slippery down there. Oh, my God. 
Y'all just stand over there and I'll take that picture.
That's the Bridal Bell Fall. And that's the American Fall.
creates a sparkling blaze. So the fall of the breeze from the British royal family to Hollywood's brightest stars, many celebrities have enjoyed the wonders of Niagara Falls. Yeah. <laughs> 